But yeah, Whew. TikTok is fucking yeet. Uh. You like man? Yes. Oh my god. Love yourself today, cause baby, you were born this no way. Nope. That's cringe, dude. Man, oh man, oh man. Sketch. Now look at this. <laughs> what is the quality you most like in a man? Um, I'm most like in a person. How about oh that? Oh my god. So she has to erase maleness, of course. Because TikTok is telling her to, and you know, pretty much all the women that you could con conceivably meet are being told. <laughs> By TikTok advertising to erase you, basically. Because it's basic human rights to erase you, white male. That your boyfriend built like a bitch. You should shut your eyes up. You should be my girlfriend instead. Gross. <laughs> Ugh, you're dressing up like the Joker. Why? If I don't look like a queer-coded cartoon villain when I dress, what, pray tell, is the point in dressing at all? <laughs> There's no point in you breathing. Look at how rich these people are, dude. Nobody cares. Get back in the kitchen. Say all of these things. I'm bisexual. No one cares, yo. Women and men. Stop telling me to pick just one of them. I'm attracted to both masculine and feminine. Someone touched you when you were a kid and get therapy. If we had like a department that just came through to remove this, you know, just on site, <laughs> a government department. I'm bisexual. <laughs> I like women and men. Uh, Stop telling me to pick just one of them. Dude, okay, I, I know I have at least a handful of gaydas in my audience. You, you, you acknowledge that this is cringe, right? <laughs> you acknowledge that this is cringe. I'm attracted to both masculine right, and feminine. Right. What's happening? I'm bisexual. So you beg It's like a I'm kid, bisexual. dude. I like women and men. Stop telling me to pick just one of them. I'm attracted to. Dude, these are babies. Why? Why is YouTube promoting this? Why isn't this being flagged for Both masculine whatever? And like, wouldn't it be great if the flagging system was like flag for degeneracy, flag for anti-white, flag for <laughs> like flag for anti-American, flag for LG, you know, flag for SJW triggered. What's happening? I'm bisexual. That would be great. I'm before bed, and I remember that a lot of my followers don't know that the sun doesn't really go down in the summer, so I thought I'd show you. There you go. This is Alaska, 10, 15 p.m. at night. See ya. I just realized that some Fringe. people don't notice the slightest changes of energies of their friends or strangers around them based on voice changes or like the way people put down a cup because they didn't grow up in a household where they had to be able to do that to protect themselves. And on what? one hand, I'm a little jealous of them, but on the other hand, those are the same bitches that can't take a hint. So, um, they- I was remembering recently what how we used to play spin the bottle. What And the if fuck? a girl spun the bottle, and it landed on another girl, everyone would be like, oh, redo. And I would always be like, ah, let's stick to the fucking rules, okay? I respect the integrity of this game. Pucker up, Jenna! No, women are not funny. This has nothing to do with me. This has to do with following the fucking rules. It's not funny, dude. Dude, women have no reason to be funny or to play in a band, okay? It's cringe. You have nothing to prove. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. Uh, I'm gay, Trish. Really? You're my brother. Shut up. I know. You were born oh, my brother. Oh man, oh man. And I love you no matter what. This is 
so canned and fake. People, these people are just like Teflon coated as it gets. These people are manufactured by these websites, by universities. I would actually say out loud that I thought made perfect sense before I knew I was gay. I don't know what part this is. I didn't really know I had any stories left, um, but this is kind of funny. I just remembered. <laughs> so like, what number do you usually count to, you know, during, you know, sex? What do you mean, what number? You know, like to like count until it's over, like in your head. <laughs> Why would I want it to be over? But it's not like Cringe. it's actually like benefiting you. Like it doesn't feel good for you. No, I do actually enjoy it. Hmm. Interesting. The LGBT what plus the cookout. fuck was that? But like a cry for help or something? I don't fucking know what the hell that was, man. Now, the Twinks what? and the Femmes are plotting world domination. Yeah, you the are. The Butches and the Bears are trying to stop them. Bai and Pan are playing Uno at a table. Ace and Arrow are underneath that table and Arrow keeps stealing Uno cards. Ace is trying to stop them. Trance is in a corner for some reason? Non-binary somehow got in a tree. Yikes. Demi is outside of the house wondering if they're allowed in. Polly got fucking lost on the way there. They don't know where the fuck they are, but they're just gonna have their own picnic at some park. Gender fluid is just doing cartwheels in the backyard. These people are like rich. Are playing they're rich because they fucking like goofily complain about being trans on the internet like an anime character. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of what we're seeing. Like they act like an anime character and say... I'm downtrodden Gibbs the sort of thing. The incognito gays and lesbians have doused themselves in rainbows, so everyone knows they belong here. The agenders have a set- Do they believe it? I don't think they do. They've been, you know, like I've said many times before, they've been reinforced. This this behavior's been reinforced, like... Be it the, be it the rioting or the looting or the, like, cringe, like, social media pandering... They're just fucking fibbing. Bended and are now trying to swallow they're, they're, they're fibbing. And they're, ooh, wow. <laughs> the entire world. The intersex are trying to stop them. They're fibbing, dude. So, um, last night I, uh, learned some information. So, um, I've never really been invited to sleepovers with guys, so I, I was not aware of this. But last like night a... I found out that at, at guys' sleepovers, they, um... How do I say this? They help each other out? If you know what I mean? You look like an anime character, dude. What the I was com you look like a you look like a lackey in like a final fight beat em up kind of game. Completely unaware of this fact. Like Billy or and something. And I'm just a little what? Right now, because then they have the audacity to, to turn around and be like, Oh Epsa, oh you're so gay, bro. I just promoted. Uh, I'm gay? I mean, yes, but also, what happened at the last sleepover, Chad, huh? I mean, <laughs> I wasn't there, but I'm pretty sure Tommy could tell me. They don't exist unless they can convert other people into existing like them, and they do that through, like, molestiness and hoodwinkiness. Like, your natural disgust reaction to this ukulele gayness. Oh, that must mean you're gay. Every time I think I tell my mom I got you go gay. <laughs> Ukul gaily. <laughs> the weather looks nice, hey. Mom and dad, I hope you understand. I'm the same I hate this vocal style, too. My love was it's like YouTube ad music. I might have a boy. Shake your hand and I pray that you love me for the way that Gross. I am. I wrote this song so you won't feel alone. It makes me realize anytime I was saying hipster, I was actually saying gay. You know what I mean? I or maybe anytime you're saying gay, you're saying hipster. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's interchangeable. You, and... <laughs> you know. 
Oh. You know, though, I do find if you say you're bi, a lot of the time people think you can decide whether or not you end up with a man or a woman. Like it's a choice which gender you end up with, which is obviously ridiculous. I mean, of course it's not a choice. If it were a choice. Notice how they're just rambling while doing, again, they're doing like bourgeois things like putting on their makeup and you know what I mean? In like really comfortable looking <laughs> either apartments or houses, you it's know? who would choose. This is like trust fund kid concerns through At and men. through. Um, <laughs> It's just because, like, we smell better and you're violent. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, I, not for me. I am. Um, I also think it's weird, though, because, like, of course it's not a choice. Like, I mean, in the first instance, I can't determine whether or not I run into more men or more. Wait a minute. Is, so this is a really annoying makeup chick. Just over. Wow. Lip syncing a really shitty fucking. Women I'm attracted to, but also in my experience. Rambling lesbian fucking stand up. Men are comedian. just more likely to show interest, right? Like, even if you told them, uh, no, thank you. And I'm like, well, just in case. Like, they're very. <laughs> they're certainly consistent. And um, I would say that people often ask me what the difference is as a bi person. What's the big difference between dating men and women? Dude, I don't give a shit if you're catcalled or like if guys come talk to you. I'm, you know, can I just say I, I don't fucking care? <laughs> but it's a ludicrous concern coming at you courtesy of just some TikTok broad. You know what I mean? Like the TikTok broad and all of them. <laughs> you know? and obviously gender is a construct, but at the same time, no, uh, if I have to say what the biggest difference would, it would be that with women, I'm like, oh, I wonder if she's interested. And with men, I'm like, put your dick away, Kevin. <laughs> If you're part of the LGBTQIA community, stop scrolling. Listen, with Pride right around the corner and my new TikTok motto being Don't Debate, Educate, this is my new series called History, but make it queer. The series where Whoa. I teach you about how us queers got here and who fought for us along the way. And this is where we start. In 1924, Henry Gerber founded the Society for Human Rights, which would later become- Goiba? The first recognized gay rights organization in America. Gerber made a three-point strategy for how he was going to win what he referred to as homosexual emancipation. The first point being that they wanted to hold lectures to show how they were being treated in society. The second, they wanted to found a publication so that other people in the gay community could know how their efforts were progressing. And third... Flea Marble Floppy just says, Half my suburban friends I grew up with who moved to the city all became people like this. Word. <laughs> they used to be unbiased, yeah. Life must be so, so hard. Poor babies. Yeah, it's like... Oh my god, like, uh, I got attracted to the wrong guy and a gal and uh, the twi tri gender, uh, multi faceted gender, queer, blah, blah. As they say from the comfort of their cul de sac off. Again, like, either cul de sac off community completely insulated from all the diversity they advocate for, you know. They wanted to it's, educate it's, authorities on the unjust long prison sentences for people committing homosexual acts. And they did, in fact, start unjust. America's first gay interest publication called Friendship and Freedom. But a few months later, the police barged in on the society and Henry Gerber and arrested him and three other people on false accusations. Based. His charges would later be dropped, however, it cost him his entire life savings, which caused the society to dismantle. Get Henry those Gerber's shackles back, hell yeah. Rights, and that's why his apartment is now landmarked. I don't like girls. But you're in love with boys. Okay, and? No, I'm asking that. Yes. Fake. Wait, then why do you say you like a girl? I don't. I kept saying that because you guys kept making fun of me. It's just a joke. Calm down. This is fake. So it was just that's why I feel. That's why I felt comfortable. Maybe, maybe these people just like. Right now. Maybe these people just seem like they're acting all the time, and I just—it's indistinguishable for me. Like them being "quote unquote" real is just acting. Because I'm actually getting. Because their entire worldview is based on anti-truth. Really, sick and tired of it. And I've been for years. I'm never gonna look at you the same. I don't care, honestly. Like I honestly Please don't care. Yourself. No, my mouth is good all over. You don't accept it. You don't accept it. I don't care because you don't care. Mm. At least you'll quit. Unless you want to start making fun of me. Unless you want to start making fun of me of liking guys, but. I mean, there's a lot of you. material there. <laughs> It's not make fun. It's not necessarily make fun, dude. It's just like question. It's like asking questions about why so many people have different proclivities and inclinations and quirks, shall we say. It's kind of just examining all of that.